Hello and welcome everyone. If you are uh, new to this channel, then my name is Amit Patel and you are watching Musings with Software Engineers. Sarat, Satish Kumar. Hello Satish, how are you? Uh, I'm working in an MNC as a tester, uh, 2021 pass out. Okay. Uh, first thing is congratulations because you already have a job. A um, lot of people who come out, who, who have passed out in 2021, still have not been able to figure out uh, how to find a job. Okay. My work starts from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. Okay. Welcome to the world of IT industry. Uh, I'm going to prepare for an exam. Kindly give advice for time management. See, Satish, first thing to understand is that all of us have the same time in the day, 24 hours, correct? And in that 24 hours, we have to do everything that we want to do. If you're talking about time management, first thing is your job requires, so at present, you're working from 8 a.m. to 8, uh, 10 a.m. to 8 p.m which is fine, which is around uh, how many hours of work you are doing, around 10 hours of work, correct? Which is fine as a fresher, because as a fresher, you are also learning a lot of skills. And because you are learning a lot of skills, what is going to happen is that uh, you will have to spend some time to understand what you are doing, doing and then deliver on those skills, correct? But if you are working from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m., okay, there is time before 10 a.m. and there is time after 8 p.m. which you can dedicate to preparing for your exam. And the easiest way is to wake up early. Easiest way is to wake up early. Wake up early. And first thing, because see, this is the thing. Exam is something which is important, but not urgent. Like whatever is the date of your exam, whatever is the time that your exam, it is important for you. It is very, uh, it's a priority thing, but it is not urgent. Whereas the work, your job is important and urgent because if you don't do your job properly, then your company is going to get uh, uh, mad at you, correct? So the best thing to do in such situation is to wake up early and finish in the first two or three hours, finish the most important part of what you want to do. In this case, if you want to study for the exam, then dedicate your morning, like wake up, like wake up like 5 30 and within half an hour get ready and set up a routine that from 6 a.m to 8 a.m or 6 a.m to 9 a.m nobody is going to disturb you and you are going to focus only on your exam okay why are you giving this exam because this exam is important for you so who has to manage this time? You have to manage this time. Correct? Okay. So you will have to decide that before your day starts. Okay. In the morning, don't check your office emails, nothing. You start checking your office emails and everything just at 10 a.m. when you start your office timings. Okay. Now, I will also tell you how to manage your time during the office. Okay. The first rule of time management is to find out where is your time going? What are the activities? Okay. And an easy way to do this is you record for one week or two weeks or not even one week or two weeks, maybe for three to four days, just record every 15 minutes. What are you exactly doing? You know, are you writing an email? Are you having a meeting? Are you communicating something with somebody? Are you learning something new? 
are you doing the work uh, to complete a project what is it every 15 minutes start writing okay this you are writing for yourself so also write down if you are wasting your time for example let's say somebody's message came up on facebook or whatsapp and you went into that message and from that message you went into some conversation with your friends which took up half an hour mention that time in this book okay for three days or four days see where your time is going okay after that you can plan your time you can decide a particular hours where nobody can disturb you. No Facebook message, no uh, YouTube videos, nothing. No multiple windows on your uh, laptop or whatever, uh, or your computer, whatever device you are using. Okay. No attending to family, nothing of that sort. There should be very dedicated time. Let's say you decide that from 10 to 8 within that time, you decide like four hours when you cannot be disturbed. Okay. This is a pure focus time. This should be the time when you get done most of your work. Okay. Most of your work. Correct. And then you start defining your priorities. Once you know where your time is going and once you can claim back your time. Okay start focusing on this uh, time where you pay undisturbed attention only to the work that you have to do which is the most important and urgent work that you have to do for the office okay and four hours will be enough to finish any of your office work if you really focus and do the work then the rest of the six hours which you have that is for the meetings that is for collaborating with your teams that is for learning anything new that you are learning whatever you want to do but four hours will be dedicated uh, work time for example you are a tester so let's say you have to test 10 issues in the day so you should focus to complete those 10 issues in those four hours if you're getting my point okay now you can also do one thing you can start keeping a list of what is the most important thing i'm going to complete today which is the a priority okay it's called the a b c d system okay a is the most important priority b is if you finish the work of a then b is the next important priority okay c is someday maybe okay you know you always get ideas when you're working hey i have to do this i have to do this but it is not urgent those things will go in c and d is delegation now you may say okay i'm a fresher but delegation means there may be communication that you need from your colleagues there may be communication that you need from your manager there may be communication you need from your clients or whoever you are working with okay so somebody has sent you an email okay so you will respond to that email and send it back which is delegation now the ball is not in your court the ball is in somebody else's court so that is d so you have all this work activities a is the work that you are going to do B is also the work that you are going to do, but it is of a lesser priority than A. C is the work that maybe you will, um, you, you don't need to do immediately. Maybe it is required one month down the line. Maybe it, it is required few days later, whatever it is. Okay. And then there is D, which is delegation, which means somebody has written you an email. You respond to that email and put the ball in that code. Correct. If you start following this and you make sure that every day at least you complete all the A items, next day there will be a different list of A items on your list. Correct? And you will learn as you start doing this, you will start learning how much time you are taking for doing your work. That 
will become your time management principle that you will start understanding then you'll have to learn communication how do you communicate with your manager how do you communicate with your colleagues how do you communicate with your client so that you have adequate work in the day it is not too high it is not too low it is adequate work the work that you can finish within that time is that okay okay in the beginning of my career i was working more than 12 hours in a day okay i'm not saying that you should not have a life i'm not saying that you should not have a work life balance but in the beginning the reason the reason you take so much time is because you are learning a lot of new things okay and that will ease you will understand after a few days how these things are going to work okay if you i don't know if you have seen my program on a players but in a players there is a module called performance in that performance module i explain this a b c d system in detail and i explain within the module of performance i explain in detail about productivity how to achieve productivity along with efficiency okay and then i also explain about how to keep record of everything okay so if 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 you decide to go for my a players program which can help you to become an a player a player is somebody who gets the best salary within the company okay then in that there is a module on performance and in that module of performance i cover all these subjects is that okay satish so uh, i hope that from this you you start following this and once you start following it uh, see everything is practice uh, if you remember and the most difficult things to learn is how to walk and how to talk these are the two most difficult things to learn in life and we learn this at the age of 1 year okay so that is how powerful we are as humans at the age of 1 year we we learn the most complex thing in the world which is how to walk is that okay so what i would suggest is that everything will become easier when you practice so time management will also become easier if you understand this system and if you don't understand go back in this video and try to understand again okay if you still do not understand i think i will invite you to join my a players program because in that i explain this system in detail is that okay and then once you understand it is all about practice the more you practice the more you will become better in this system is that okay satish i hope i hope that this system works for you and i hope that uh, you get the benefit of this system so uh, friends all of you who are still watching this video okay like this video and if you have not yet subscribed to this channel then subscribe now and press the bell icon so that you don't miss any updates thank you very much see you in the next live